So if you've clicked on this video, it's probably very likely that you're having some download issues over on the PlayStation 4. Well, not to worry, in this video I'll be teaching you some very simple and easy ways on how you can improve your PlayStation 4 download speeds by around 20 to 30 times. Now, of course, this will vary from person to person because a lot of us have different internet speeds. We live in different countries, so the servers and all these different factors come into account. But overall, the majority of you will see some massive improvements with your internet speeds. Now, because I do have a lot of different methods, I'm going to leave a timestamp on screen right now. Now for you guys, here's the timestamp of all of the different methods you guys can click on where you would like to go in the video to see each individual method. Maybe one's going to suit you a little bit better than the other. One of them will be a secret method and I can assure you guys that you've probably not heard of this method but overall it is pretty good. So straight away what I will say having an Ethernet cable is always going to be better than being wireless. Of course a lot of people can't actually get Ethernet cables for one whatever reason, maybe the router's downstairs and the PlayStation 4's upstairs or something like that. But if you can, definitely invest yourself in an Ethernet cable. You can buy some off Amazon, 30 meter, 40 meter, 50 meter long Ethernet cables, and they're pretty cheap as well. They're around between 10 and 20 pounds, maybe 20 to 25 dollars, something in that region. And those are definitely going to improve your download speeds on the PlayStation 4. Run them under your carpets, run them uh, across the skirting boards, maybe even drill a hole through the ceiling. It doesn't matter if you can get an Ethernet cable connected to your PlayStation 4, I would definitely advise it. But anyway guys, let's get into all of the methods to improve your PlayStation 4 download speeds. So first of all, let's get into the common one. This is probably the most common one that a lot of people do do tutorials on. First of all, you want to go to settings, then network, then you want to go on to set up an internet connection. Then you can select either Wi-Fi or LAN. It doesn't really matter for the purpose of this tutorial. I'll be clicking on LAN. Then you want to go to custom. Then you want to proceed to go into manual. And next up, then you want to change your primary DNS and your secondary DNS. So what this is, is essentially you're going to be changing these numbers to Google's DNS. And of course, because Google is a very established company, a multi-billionaire company, their DNS is very fast. And therefore, you're going to find that your internet connection is going to improve very fast as well. So what you're going to want to do for the primary DNS is put 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Then for your secondary DNS, you're going to want to put 8.8.4.4 and that is pretty much it. You'll then, of course, you want to enter your IP address, your subnet mask, your default gates, where you'll find all that online if you don't know how to find those. Then you'll click on next and then everything will be sorted. If you're finding that the Google DNS is not really working for you, there is another DNS that you can connect to, which is the open DNS. So the open DNS numbers are as follows. For the primary DNS, you're going to want to enter 208.67, as I quickly do it, 0.222.222. So that is going to be the primary DNS. Of course, pause the video if you're tr struggling to keep up with me. The secondary DNS is going to be very similar in the sense that the first numbers will be the same. So 208. 0.67 and then you're going to want to put 0 0.220 and then finally another 0 0.220 on the end. Once again, enter your IP address, your subnet mask or default gateway and you're going to find that your internet speed is going to be much faster in terms of downloading things such as patch updates, uh, games, betas, anything like that. This will work wonders in able to improve your download speed. If you're finding that this is not as good and you want to do my method, this is going to include actually the LAN. So you've got to have a LAN set up. You've got to be able to have an Ethernet cable connected to the back of your PlayStation. And quite simply, all you're going to want to do, I'm going to quickly skip to the Black Ops 2 update. I did record it for you guys so you could see that it does actually work. And this is by far the most simplest and effective way of improving your download speeds and all you want to do is disconnect the ethernet cable from your playstation 4 wait for a couple of seconds plug it back in and then you're going to find that the playstation is going to kind of reset the internet speeds or something like that i'm not entirely sure how it works and then you're going to find that 
your internet download speed is just going to skyrocket. It'll work for maybe around a minute of downloading. For example, if you're watching this, it downloads like, I think it's like 8 megabits a second or something like that. And then it starts to slow down. I unplug the Ethernet cable again for a couple of seconds, plug it back in, and then it improves one more time. And I just keep doing this for around 4 to 5 minutes, and I find that an update that would have originally took 3 to 4 hours long is done in the matter of minutes. Now what I will say about this method, even though that it is my favourite and fastest method to download faster on the PlayStation 4, a few people did comment on one of my previous videos when I talked about this and stated that there is a very slim chance of corrupting your game and corrupting the game file of whatever you're downloading. Now me personally, I've had no issues with this. When I did upload a video tutorial on this particular method, there wasn't any comments that said that their files did corrupt as well. So what I'm going to say is that there isn't really any uh, risks to doing this. It's very simple, very easy to do, and overall I would definitely recommend it. Now moving on to the next method. Now this method is going to be for the ones that can't get an Ethernet cable all the way to their PlayStation 4. This will involve an Ethernet cable, but a very small one. You can get them for $1 to $2, $1 to $2 pounds over on Amazon once again. And the way this works is you need to connect your PlayStation 4 to your laptop slash desktop via using this Ethernet cable. So it's going to be very small, maybe even less than a meter, less than half a meter, but you're going to connect it to your PlayStation 4 and connect it then to your laptop slash desktop, and you're going to change your connection to the PS4 to LAN. And the way that this works is that, yes, you will be downloading your files, whatever you need to download on the PlayStation 4 through your computer. And the reason this works is because the network card in your computer slash laptop is much faster than that of the network card in the PlayStation 4 and therefore you're going to download much faster by doing it this way. It seems a little weird, yes I do agree with you, but the network cards in the PlayStation 4 are definitely different than the network cards in your laptop slash computers and therefore this is going to work a little bit faster. I'm not entirely sure how much this will improve your download speeds but maybe if you can't get that Ethernet cable connected to your PlayStation 4 definitely try this out and let me know down in the comment section below if this did improve your download speeds. Now finally as a little bit of a bonus I don't think that this is going to necessarily improve your download speeds as such but this is something that I wanted to mention because it will be coming up in an up and coming video in which I'll be making the world's fastest and most powerful PlayStation 4. Now to do this, all you need to do is install an SSD into your PlayStation 4. Yes, it will be very expensive to do so. In fact, one terabyte SSDs can cost upwards of three to $400. 500 gigs is around maybe $100, $120 in that region, so it's not super duper expensive. But I'm not entirely sure if this is going to impact your download speeds, if it's going to make it faster. Technically, in some terms, it would do. I'm going to do a lot of testing on this. But overall, this is going to improve your PlayStation 4 speeds because it's got no moving parts, and therefore, it's going to improve your loading speeds, your loading times for different games, and overall, just make your PlayStation 4 a little bit more powerful as well as this because it does not have any moving parts it's not going to get as hot your playstation 4 will not get as hot and overall if you didn't know electronics work much better in colder conditions rather than hot so in theory if your playstation 4 is a little bit cooler it should work a little bit better but anyway guys i'm gonna leave the video as that hopefully you guys enjoyed it please leave in the comment section below which method you found best that will be greatly appreciated then i can follow it up with some more videos talk about the best methods and stuff but in this video i think i've pretty much covered all of the best methods that are on the internet at this moment in time. If you've got any other ideas on how to improve your PlayStation 4 speeds, let me know as well and I might test them out to see which is going to be the best one overall. Going to do a lot of testing over the course of the next couple of months. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it from me. I belong to the station. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Securing A. Losing Charlie. Dominated. Go on the offensive. Securing Alpha. Securing B. Alpha locked down.
down. Alpha. We lost Alpha. That battery's dead. <laughs> 